Hey guys, in this video, we will solve this problem with a triangle uh, which has a sector and a shaded region. What we want to do here is to find the area and the perimeter of this shaded region. So our problem is about a diagram which shows a triangle ABC. That's what we got here, ABC, uh, in which AB is perpendicular to BC. And the length of AB is 4 cm and with an angle CAB alpha radians. The arc DA, this is the arc here DA, which has a center A and radius 2 cm meets AC at D and AB at E. And we want to find here, in terms of alpha, the area of the region of the shaded region this is the, this area here and its perimeter its perimeter will be this one here it means d c b a to solve our problem we will first find the area of the triangle the whole triangle a b c then we will find the area of the shaded of this sector here and then subtract this area from the area of the triangle and we will have remaining the area of the shaded region S here. So the area of the triangle ABC, like in all right angle triangle, will be A of the triangle will be here equal to one and a half of AB times BC. AB times BC. We already have AB, this is four centimeter, but we don't have BC. So we would like to find BC now. And we know that we can have BC here by using the Pythagoras law or rule. So we would say the tangent of alpha here, the tangent of alpha here is the this opposite side over the adjacent side. BC would be equal to BC over AB. Okay, and therefore we know AB is four centimeter, so we can say they will give us BC equals to um, AB times tangent of alpha. And we know AB is four centimeters, so we're gonna say it is four times the tangent of alpha. Then we can replace BC in here. So this is going to give us now A of the triangle, I mean the area of the triangle here equals to one half of AB, four centimeter times BC, also four tangent of alpha. And we can also cancel out the two here. So two here remain one two here remain two and that will give us um four times two that will be a tangent of alpha and this is the uh, area of the triangle abc now we want to find the area of the sector s this sector here it is also a triangle but with uh you know an arc here of a circle this means at the center point is A here. This means that this distance here, which is a radius, A to D and A to whatever you can call it here, are the same. These two distances are the same because it's a radius of their circle. Two centimeters and two centimeters. So we will say um, S, I mean, the, uh, the area of the sector in this case is equal to uh, one and a half because it's also a triangle of a and whatever here is two centimeter times s and we can also but we don't know s but we can have s with the pythagoras law again the rules of pythagoras and we can say here that alpha equals to s over the hypotenuse i mean the opposite over the hypotenuse and this is here s the opposite over the hypotenuse which is 2 which is going to give us s equals to 2 times 
alpha and this s here we're gonna take it back in our area formula so this is gonna give us here s equals to one and a half times two and times s the sector i mean this we should have called it de okay de it doesn't matter but um s or s this s is yellow it means the s of the this the area of the sector and this other one is only de that are let me put here s equal as the white one equals to de okay not to make it confused so times de and de here is what we got here is two alpha times two alpha and we can cancel out the two and we will still have s equals to two alpha and this is here the um the area of the sector right here the area of this sector right here we now have the area of the triangle abc and the area of this sector like i told you before we're just going to subtract this sector the area of this sector here from the area of the whole triangle and we will have the the area of the shaded region and this is what we call here s equal to a of the triangle i mean the area of the triangle minus a of the sector and a of the sector is this s with yellow here so we subtract this one from the a of the triangle and this is going to give us here um a of the triangle is a tangent of alpha minus uh the area of the sector is two alpha minus two alpha and this is here the area of the shaded region we're looking for so now we answer the first question our second question is about the perimeter of the shaded region it means this area i mean this shape here de plus eb plus bc plus cd or dc so we said here the perimeter let me put it like uh, uh we say p for perimeter equals to de plus uh, eb plus uh, bc and plus dc so we know um we know de we had it already it's two alpha we know um let me put a different color we know de we know uh, EB because um, if AE is two centimeter, EB will be two centimeters. We know BC, this is what we got before, four tangent of alpha, but we don't know DC, and this is what we're gonna find now. To find DC, we can use Pythagoras again by saying that, let me take a different color, by saying that uh, the cosine of this angle here, the cosine of alpha, the cosine of alpha equals to four four centimeters over um, AC okay over AC and we know that AC equals to AD plus DC AD plus DC and this is where we can have DC so we can work it out by saying that um, four, I mean, AD, the cross multiply it plus uh, DC equals to four over the cosine of alpha. All right? And now we can subtract with AD. That means that we have DC equals to four over the cosine of alpha minus d minus ad and ad and ad is what we got here before ad is two centimeters that will be minus two and this is ad so we can this is dc we can replace it right here so our perimeter is going to be uh de is two alpha plus eb is two centimeters 
plus BC is 4 tangent of alpha, 4 times tangent of alpha, and now plus DC, which is 4 over the cosine of alpha minus 2. So we can see that the 2 here will cancel out. And we will have remaining the perimeter P equals to 2 alpha plus 4 tangent of alpha plus 4 over the cosine of alpha 4 over the cosine of alpha and this is here the perimeter of our you know, shaded region now again in this problem we were asked to find the area of the shaded region this area here and its perimeter and we had to do uh, what we've done is that uh, we first found um, the perimeter of the I mean the area of the whole triangle then the area of this sector and subtract the area of this sector from the area of the whole triangle so we could have the area of the shaded region and then we also had to to find the perimeter of the shaded region and each perimeter is what we can see here this shape here de eb bc and dc and this is what we got here we've already had ede eb and bc but we didn't have dc and to find dc we also use pythagoras by saying that the cosine of this angle here is equal to ab and ab is four centimeters that's what we got here over the, the hypotenuse over ac but the hypotenuse is ad plus dc and we know ad is two centimeters so we can cross multiply multiply here by saying you know putting this down here and the other one up front it gives us then ad plus dc equals to four over the cosine of alpha and therefore we can subtract the ad from this whole uh, equation then we will have dc equals to four over the cosine of alpha minus two and we just we just had to to replace dc by its value in this perimeter here and obtain this final result here that is the perimeter of our shaded region and the area of the shaded region is this one right here. okay thank you for watching again until next time 